Hello and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of March 2nd, 2020. As we all know, March 14th is the deadline for the extension on unemployment and the enhanced unemployment as well. So hopefully we're going to get some work done by these uh, senators as soon as possible. Yesterday, Biden had a uh, call with Democrat senators talking about the $1.9 trillion relief bill. Biden can't afford to lose a single vote on this relief bill because this is Biden's first big push on the Congress to get something passed for the people. And if he can't get all the, 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 if he can't get all the Democratic senators on board, this will be his first colossal fail as president. And that could affect him and future repercussions when it comes to helping the people out as well, as as well as maybe even getting him to be voted back into presidency in 2024, since we all know Donald Trump thinks he's going to run and become president, even though he may not. Senator John Tester, a Democrat from Montana, was on the call with Biden yesterday, and he basically said that the conversation was more about targeting the money in the relief bill. And Joe Manchin, who is by far the most modest Democrat in the Senate, some call him a dino, Democrat in name only, is what it stands for, D-I-N-O. Um, Manchin said that they are just looking on a targeted bill. We want it to be very targeted to help the people they need it the most is what he says. But we also know that Joe Manchin has a lot of other things he doesn't like. And he's sounding to be more like Republican than Democrat. But so what are these moderate Democrats pushing to change in their relief bill? We already know that they don't like the minimum wage increase, which is true. They do not. Most of the moderate Democrats are in Republican states, and they're trying to keep their re-election options open. That's why I'd be voting for a, a a term limits for the senators. This way they can't make a career of their job. Because that just would be right, because then they just screw us over as much as they want. They also want to tighten the income limitations of the $1,400, $1,400 stimulus checks. They ultimately rejected proposals to prevent single Americans earning between fifty and $75,000 from receiving stimulus payments, meaning fewer people would receive them because they would be phased out based on the income. And these moderate Democrats also want to keep the unemployment boost at $300 a week, but extend it for a longer period of time. So in other words, they don't want the $400 a week until August 29th, they went $300 a week for past August 29th. So I'm trying to figure out what the deal is because if, if it extends past the August 29th delay and say by an extra six months, well, that's more money that could have made the $400 a week, you know, just be more substantial for the people. Sanders said that the president supports the $400 a week uh, unemployment boost as well as he does. He said, we could see a initial vote on the bill as early as tomorrow. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, from for his part, said on the Senate floor. Yeah. But on the other hand, Mitch McConnell said the relief bill was a bonanza of partisan spending. They're calling a pandemic relief package. Isn't that just like Mitch McConnell and the Republicans to start trashing the Democrats that they don't like? Just to further show the diversity of the Senate Democrats, we have Senate Finance Committee Chairman Ron Wyden and nine of the Democrat senators writing a letter to Biden urging that the stimulus bill be recurring, recurring so it actually happens every month for the direct payments and automatic unemployment extension tied to the economic conditions that are any, they basically want to tie them to the um, economy and how well it's doing and compared to if it's picking up or going down. 
So it's just, just different ways of them phasing it out. And there aren't basically any specifics as far as the total dollar amount that they're talking about for the recurring direct payments and unemployment yet. But as soon as more information is going to be available on that, I'll be more than happy to let you know. Um, there are three reasons why they are basically requesting this to Biden. The first is they state that stimulus payments and unemployment are effective together. You know, in a way, it's all related to the, it's all going to relate to the, the direct deficit that we're going in. So I guess it could work that way. I'm not exactly sure how unemployment and stimulus checks would actually work together. I mean, because it actually sort of have to limit it. So the people that are unemployment wouldn't get a recurring monthly stimulus check because they'd already be getting their monthly stimulus check every week and four hundred dollars depending on how many people were in the household. Two, the data shows that the stimulus checks and enhanced unemployment are among the most effective forms of the relief. And I'm not sure what the data they're talking about. But their data does say that it, it, the, the stimulus checks and the enhanced unemployment are more effective ways of getting the money out. And the third one is the recurring direct payments have wide support from general, the general public and economic experts. I don't know what economic experts are talking about, but I know there is a lot of people out there in the general public that do support continuing stimulus checks. So it's not a bad idea. I mean, I don't believe that Joe Manchin will be on board with the recurring stimulus checks. Basically, folks, Joe Manchin is now the new Mitch McConnell because of the way he's preaching. He doesn't want the $15 an hour minimum wage. I guarantee you the um, $10,000 stimulus check thing I told you about yesterday in my broadcast, he's not going to go for that one. And the simple fact that uh, oh, this the uh, recurring monthly payments... He won't go that one either. So basically, Joe Manchin is now the new Mitch McConnell. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to talk him out of all that frivolous spending of spending money to other countries that they say needs help when this country we live in needs their help most of all. But just wait. The the Republican Joe Manchin will show us, show us true colors soon enough. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening. And I will broadcast again to you as soon as possible. Until then, bye. My mother told me someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores.